Predominantly irreverent uh, stylings of jocularity of Dominique Mutual. Please. Yeah. Sardonically irreverent. It's a very fancy way of saying bitter. <laughs> Here I am once again in a dark room where people are drinking. So far, so good. Uh, I'm a little nervous you guys are drinking. You know, it's the day before St. Patty's. People get drunk, they get rowdy. People get rowdy, I get hurt. <laughs> I get hurt, I get flashbacks. <laughs> Not to Nam, obviously. It's usually my birth. Which is equally as painful. I'm looking around the room, you know, I see some faces I recognize. Thank you for coming. I see a lot of faces I don't recognize. Thank you for coming. They're all looking at me, the bright lights. This is a lot like my birth. <laughs> I'm starting to get worried because I'm having a fun. This may turn out just as rough. <laughs> One gets me to get up here with my dad and start talking Polish. Translation. Look, honey. Look how we created. Now how are we going to make a doctor out of that? <laughs> now one of you will be the doctor. Now plead with you. Please. Let me be. I'm comfortable in here. I don't want to come out. Look, here's the strawberry. Just take it. Just take it. Leave me alone. But he pulled me out, obviously. I'm here. Prick. Should pee on when I had the chance. <laughs> <laughs> but I do see there's some lovely ladies in the audience tonight. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. And I gotta tell you, if any one of you wants to be the nurse, I didn't mind the spanking. <laughs> That part I actually enjoyed, that was the high point. Because all the rest was tough, man. It was tough. Not that it got any easier for me as I moved on in childhood. You know, I had a teacher come up to me and when I was a kid. And she went up to me and she said, Dominic, you know, I know you're only three. But you might as well know now, you're probably going to be a loser. <laughs> I just have this feeling about you. It's because I call her fat. <laughs> she was. Kids say stupid things. I didn't mean anything about it. And of course, after that, I moved on into adolescence. Man, I'm having a flashback right now, you know? High school? My God. High school was terrifying for me. I always felt like people were chasing me. And then people had the nerve to ask me, why'd you quit the football team? I think it's pretty fucking obvious. <laughs> Thinking about it now, you know, I should join a track team. At least that way, I get to chase people. <laughs> of course, after high school came college, I decided to major in engineering. Brilliant, right? I'm finally out of the house. I'm finally free. You know, time to explore my sexual freedoms. I pick a major that's 90% dudes. <laughs> it would have been perfect if I was gay. I had my pick, William, all those guys were sexually frustrated. <laughs> but I'm not gay, and that's the problem. That's the problem. But it made me realize something about myself. It made me realize I make bad fucking decisions. I make bad decisions. I had a girl tell me once, she said, you know, Dominic, I've never acted a day in my life, but I'm pretty sure I could win an Oscar before you give me an orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> After she said, you know what I did? I kept fucking dating her. <laughs> Bad decisions, man. Bad decisions. How about you, sir? You look like you may have made some bad decisions. <laughs> it's nothing personal, believe me. It's just you look old enough, you know? <laughs> I'm serious. No, you give us enough time. You give me enough time. I can fuck up anything. Just give me a chance, please. I'll do it. I mean, you love to give sex. Give sex. <laughs> good for you. No, good for you. Yeah, I, uh, I, <laughs> believe me, I'd like to. I keep getting the wrong number. 
You know, if you have sex, you gotta be careful these days. There's so many STDs out there, too many to count, you know? I hope you wear condoms. I hope you do. But I don't think even... You know, Jesus, you're a hopeless case. I mean, I don't know you're <laughs> you gotta wear condoms, you do. But even if you wear condoms, you're in danger, because that condom could break. That condom could break, and then you're in trouble. So I gotta go a step further, you know? Like when I have sex, I like to wear the whole box. <laughs> Look, I'll admit it, it's hard to find a woman shaped like that. <laughs> so usually I just wind up alone, it's just hard on my wrist, you know? <laughs> but it has an upside. I wake up worry free. No fungus for this guy. Totally clean, just me and my hand. I think it may be time for me to get off the stage. I feel like I'm in danger. <laughs> I, just, I felt like this therapy session went really well. Thank you. I feel like I should be paying you. Now, thank you all for coming. You guys have been great. I'm Dominic. Thank you.